morning happy thursday i like thursdays the best at work because we have um in a meeting every week we're just like here's what we're doing and here's where we're going and that kind of stuff so they shut the phones off for an hour and then everybody has a half hour lunch right after that so for an hour and a half we're just like joking around most of the time the meeting is uh short so we have an extra long lunch or you know we like maybe we'll do some work in between but not on the phones so that's that's the best part of working at on Thursdays in the office. Oh, hello, kitty. I have nothing for you. She is seeking treats, and I have none. I don't have any. I know. All right, so good morning. Time to get up and get into work. Good evening. So when I got off, got to work, my phone was at 15%. You might be saying, why didn't you charge it overnight? It was plugged in, but I don't know, the Timu charger, it's not the cord and it can't be the plug, so it must be the Timu charger adapter thing. Doesn't work. It don't work. Or it doesn't work well. I don't know, but it didn't charge, so regardless. You're plugged in. Um, you're gonna see me work right over here. See my soup? It looks gross, but it's all brown. See now, if this was chicken stock and not beef, it wouldn't be as brown. And I'm disappointed in uh, the potatoes. I'm wondering if I should have used a different kind because these russet potatoes are tender, but they're not fall off the fork tender. So that makes me a little bit upset. It's okay, we will survive. So, you stay plugged in there. I'm gonna start doing things over here. All right, I'm back. I did some other stuff. Um, you see that package? It's another Timu package. Why? Because I think I have a problem. All right, here is. One block of cream cheese. Come on out. Whoops. Come on out. Cream cheese. There's one block. Cream cheese. Cheese and creams. Cheese and creams. And then another block of cream cheese. Now, the immersion blender. Immerse it into the liquid first before you start blending. Uh, just FYI, this is a completely improvised recipe. So I'm not going to do it the same way. Who is calling around this week? I'm not going to do it the same way. But I took out some of it, like a little bit, like a few scoops, just to, because. All right. All right then. Make sure that's on tight. Blender it up as, as creamy as possible. Okay, so when your potatoes have been liquefied. I was thinking I was gonna need this milk. I don't, I'm gonna put it away. So, now that it's liquefied, you can add back the chunks and just spoon the chunks in, or uh, yeah, stir the chunks around, stir them in, they don't have to be liquefied. All right, so I, depending on how chunky you want your soup, will determine how many chunks you take out. I didn't want mine super chunky, so I only took out a little bit. So now it's all blended together, and now it's time to season it, because potatoes and leeks by themselves 
with the cream cheese, it's okay, kind of bland, pretty bland. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the 33rd, 33rd and Galena chickens and pork rub. This is a Penzi's Spices. I found it and I did the smell test. That's where you smell your food and smell the spice. You go, and then, and then if they smell good and you don't be like, oh, something smells off, then they go together. So I'm gonna put in a bunch of this. Uh, I think that's like a tablespoon probably. We're gonna put in a bunch of that. We're gonna put in a slew of freeze-dried chives. When I mean a slew, this is some, um, it's this full. I'm gonna do all of it. Yep, just all of it. There you go. Then, I'm gonna do some minced onion. Oh, this one's not even open. Let's fresh open this one. Dang it. Hey, um, great value with your spices, the top thing. Can you make a tab so we can like open it? Cause it's, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. Unless you've got nails or you use a knife or something, we shouldn't have to do that. Just put a little tab on it. Then we can take it off. All right. Oh, let's see. What is that? I don't know. Look, spices for people. Whoops. I'll get that later. Spices for people are. Yeah. Are it's different for everybody. Maybe you don't want the chives. Maybe you don't want the chicken flavor seasoning. I don't know. Maybe you don't want this garlic salt, just a bit, because I put them garlic cloves in there. And then we're gonna do 71 grams or 2.5 ounces of real bacon pieces. You can do more or less, whatever, or none. Doesn't matter. Do what you wanna do and live in color. Boom. Done. We're gonna mix that up and then um, once Russ gets home we'll plate it up and we'll see how it tastes. Okay potato leek soup. I put cheese on it. It's been mixed in. Let's taste. Mm. That's really good. Very creamy. Chunks are good. You get like a chunk. Here's a chunk of potato. You know what? More bacon next time. But even without the bacon, it's still very good. And with a little bit of bacon I put in there, this is good. So... I'll try again some improvising some other potato recipe next time. Probably like a baked potato soup or something like that. This though, very delish. Have you watched, uh, it's an old movie, older movie, Gladiator? Lots and lots of people have seen Gladiator. You know, I've never, I've never watched it. It's on AMC right now, so I'm sure a whole bunch has been cut out. Maybe I'll watch it at some point. I think it's on like probably Netflix or one of the other streamings. No idea, but I don't know. I haven't. I watched the battle scene. The only thing I'm thinking about is I hope the dog survives. I don't even know if they did, because the dog they didn't show it after the thing, the battle. But I think it's still alive. Anyway. I will continue watching Gladiator. I would consider myself a good wife. 
for a number of reasons. But one of those reasons is um, I like to make food. I cook a lot uh, for Russ and myself. And um, I would cook for other people too. Sometimes we have, well, not in a really long time, but sometimes our friends will, will have, one moment. Okay, so, like I was saying, sometimes our friends will have a friend's, friends, friends might spend the night or something. Or, um, so, the next morning, I will make them breakfast. And I'm not talking about just like eggs and toast. Like we'll have eggs, toast, bacon. Maybe I'll make French toast. Maybe I'll do pancakes. Um, we'll have sausages and biscuits and cheese. Cheese. <laughs> you know, sausage biscuits you can make for that. Anyway, I'm making Russ a sandwich for lunch tomorrow. Um, he has work for him and has been giving have has been getting food for him since like Monday Tuesday something like that and uh, he's so he's left his sandwich at or sandwich his lunch bag at work with the food that I made him Monday or Tuesday well the sandwich that I made him on those on that day was tuna sandwich so I said don't eat it because it's been sitting in the fridge for three or four days at least. These are super thin slices. I got one slice of pepper jack cheese. This is some roasted ham, not ham, beef. I'm going to put all four slices on here because, you know, they thin slices. And we're going to go ahead and go with another uh, slice, slice of pepper jack on top of that. You make yourself a sandwich, meat and cheese sandwich. So I made a sandwich. Anyway, I'm making a sandwich for Russ. For Russ's lunch tomorrow. So that he has a fresh sandwich and not that old tuna sandwich. And um, do I have to do this? No, but I choose to do it. That doesn't mean that if your wife doesn't do it that they're a bad wife absolutely not that does not mean your wife's a bad wife i'm not a better i'm not a better wife that's not what i'm saying either so please don't read into it i like to make food this food is my love language i mean you can see that i like to make food um, I am going to go upstairs. So it is 8.07. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to try on <clears throat> these things I got from Timu. It is uh, a pair of boots. There's some um, what should be over-the-knee socks. And I thought it was just one pair, but it's like six pairs of over-the-knee socks. So hopefully they do actually fit over their knee. They're supposed to be plus size. If, she's a cat. If they're over-the-knee socks and they fit good, awesome. Love it. Um, I hate when they're uneven. Bothers me. Anyway, I'm going to try on the socks. I'm going to try on the boots. I'm going to try on the shirt. So, we're going to go upstairs. Is that it's working? I, okay. That's better. Um, we'll go upstairs and we do that. And again, if you don't make sandwiches for your husband, you are not a bad wife or partner. Okay? Wife, husband, partner, person. You are not a bad spouse. It's just something I choose to do. I please, please don't feel like I'm trying to talk down. I'm not. I'm really not. Because there are days, many days, where I'm just like, I ain't doing it. I don't cook every day. 
pepper jack cheese is spicy. And uh, just that little piece of cheese that I just ate right now is spicy. I don't like that. Too spicy for me, pepper jack cheese. All right, well, anyways, I'll see you upstairs. Okay, we're starting with this shirt. I got a sweater, and upon first feel, it is definitely sweater material. Very comfortable, fun, and it's got, you can see it has like a faux shirt thing. Oh, it's got a little paper faux shirt business going on, um, like undershirt business that has a hood. Same material, this feels like it's, um, it's not stretchy. This feels like, uh, I don't know, shirt. It looks, it feels like t-shirt, I guess. So it has this hood and it has this like bit over here, little buttons or something on the outside. All right, so let's put it on. It's supposed to be uh, kind of big, I think. At least I hope it fits well. Ugh. Yes, I love the length of the sleeve. When I have a sleeve, especially in a sweater that has like, I can do like this. Oh, I'm all cozy. So far, I am feeling very good. I don't know what this part down here looks like yet, but the way it feels and it does go just beyond my booty um, in the back, which is a good length for me. And the front is relatively kind of long, I guess. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what the mirror shows. Yes. Now, obviously, I wouldn't walk around with the hood up, but I am liking this. It's a nice sweater. It's like a cream colored sweater with this fake cowl, I don't know, thing you call put here and it has a cool like here's this right here it's ruched right here you see like that it's spring it's a elastic it stretches out um I'm where I wear my pants pulled up way high because it smooths this part of my belly so that's what I do that for a lot of extra skin that goes there. So I like this. This is a good Timu purchase. I like this sweater. Look, it's ruched over here too. And that causes for, like, to hug my butt. And I can see my curves in the butt. My booty curves. See my booty curves. Booty curves. Yes, that's a good sweater. I like this. Oh, I can already feel it's quite warm. It's not scratchy. It's soft, soft sweater feel. So we're going to keep this on. And now we got to try on the socks. Okay, so it came with six socks. I'm going to try on all six. This is the regular, the gray pair. Um, it does have the toe stitch going over the top, which is what I prefer. The men's goes straight across why I don't know um, so this is the length which um, if I'm not stretching it out should go just past the knee now I haven't stretched it out yet but we'll see see when I put my socks on I scrunch like this now how far does it stretch it's got a fair amount of stretch at the top let's see if we're going down it does seem to be pretty stretchy not sure if it's stretchy enough so let me bring you down here <sighs> let's see where I put you where am I gonna put you you can see me put the sock on oh shit 
watch me put on socks. How exciting for you. Here you go. See, I have thick legs. This, you know, I don't know if this will work. Let me scrunch it up. Okay, and we'll put it on. Put my foot in. Yeah, I am thinking these are probably, well, I don't know. Let me not speak too soon. Here, I didn't take my pants off because I want the sock to fit over my pant. So let's see. Oh. Yes. It is knee high. Not quite over unless, let me see if maybe I didn't pull it up high enough. Oh yeah, these would go directly over the knee. That's what I want. Um, and then let me put the other sock on. All right, see, I know it looks funny right now, but you'll see my vision here, my vision with the boots that I got, okay? I haven't put the boots on. You can see my pant. That's okay. I understand it looks strange with the pants like this, um, but let me put the boot on and the whole outfit and you'll see. It's going to be good. Just wait. Now, because the sock fits so well, I got very hopeful for the shoe, for the boot. Unfortunately, I am a meaty person. I am of thick, th thick stature, stature, and uh, that's as far as I got. So, um, I'm a size nine, five foot five, chunky person. And my thighs are, my leg, my calves, I should say, are too wide for these boots. They would have been so cute, too, if I could just get them up. These are thigh-high boots, but unfortunately, these don't work for me. They do not fit. Now, if I could cut the boot, even then, the boot doesn't fit, not even... Like, look, they fit up to, up to there. So I would lace it. That's not even mid-calf. It's almost, it's like, just, like, here's my ankle. What is that? What is that, four inches? Yeah, it's not, uh, it doesn't work. I'm sad, but you saw where I was going with that. The boots, I needed the tall socks so that the boots don't rub. And then I have the cute like tight pants like whatever leggings even then this shirt it would have been cute unfortunately uh it's not gonna this is why i buy shoes in person gotta try them on so i will not be buying shoes from timu anymore on that note i am disrobing and i am going to bed with my disappointment so if anyone needs a size 9 over-the-knee boot, right boot only worn while trying to lace up, you just let me know, and um, we will, I'll get you to them. I'll get you them. Free of charge. I need.